Well, in this video I'm going to introduce you to Synergy and Kypro and the way these both communicate to each other. So you can control your Synergy by the patches, presses and packs you upload from your Kypro and vice versa actually. So the reason I decided to create that video is not just for uh, basic education, it's more to support this particular configuration because this is currently on sale and so uh, uh, some of the aspects and details that I'm going to explain are only applicable to this particular configuration. So keep that in mind. In the meantime, you'll get all the basics, so hope you'll join that. All right, so let's have a quick look uh, on the configuration we have here. I have a Kypro 2X, that's important. And I have a Synergy DK2 Plus. That means basically it comes with all the serial upgrades and media upgrade kits. So that's all installed, retrofitted, and this basically amazing looking Synergy inside the brand new power supply and so on. So there are many cool features inside this machine. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to explain how this computer works with this Synergy. So what you may see here, it's a Kai Pro 2X. So basically the difference between 2X and 2, that's important, it's in the floppy drives. So the 2 has single-sided floppy drives. 2X supports double-sided floppy drives and single-sided floppy drives on the drive B. That's very important because um, they did that main, basically for compatibility purpose. Uh, uh, Dual-sided drives doubles the density, oh, I'm sorry, doubles the capacity of, of a floppy disk. And so um, uh, they're all advantages. However, many of the patches, especially early Synergy software, it came on the single-sided floppy disks. So, but good thing that I already did some preparation for that. So uh, you have to boot from the drive A. That's important. You always boot from the drive A and you always boot from the double-sided configuration. And I have floppies which support that, DD with a label. So these are double-sided floppies. And these floppies are formatted in a single side, so they will go to the drive B. So now I'm going to make a quick connection and we will get that running. All right, so both systems fired up. Uh, Kypro just started, it's not booted yet. Uh, Synergy is just turned on and that's it. So what I'm going to do, so it gives you a message, put a floppy drive and it's looking for a floppy drive in the drive B, that's important. So it's done, booted. So what I'm going to do next, I need to start the Synergy control program. But before doing that, we need to set up a communication speed between these two. The advantage of a Synergy is that it can be configured into multiple communication speeds. So currently, I put it to a maximum speed, which is like 19.2 um, um, kilobots per second. And so uh, we need to match exactly the same speed on the Kypro. So to do that, we need to set up a speed of the port. I do bold. M command, and that sets up the communication speed of a serial port A actually. So, and I'm doing that to a maximum uh, H 11.2 kilobot, and done. So, now I'm going to start Synergy communication program. So, it's S Y M H C S, it's, it's Synergy host control system. So now it's started, almost, and done. So at that point, it's not yet communicated to Synergy. It just gives you the welcome screen and that's it. So nothing else here. So to, in order to start talking between each other, we need to put it into one of the modes where the communication is supported. So what I'm doing, going to do, I'm going to move to inter-voicing mode. So it's number 15, so I press 15, enter. Done. So now you may see that cartridge, cartridge, cartridge LED is blinking. So Synergy is in a voicing mode, communicates back to, to Kypro. Just to give an idea how now you can load patches. So we will take one of the patches floppy disks, put it to a drive B. That's more convenient because we don't consume space here. Remember, so patches can have a few bytes or kilobytes. So I don't want to put it here. I want to manage it separately. So now what I need to do, I need to tell my software where my patch is. So to do that, I'm 
I'm pressing number seven, enter. And it asks me if our current drive, so I'm saying B. So you may see LEDs now, blinks, and uh, I want to list the programs here, which is eight, enter. So now you may see that on my drive B, I have a number of voice files. What I'm going to do, I'm going to load it into Synergy. So just to show you that, so currently it doesn't play because it doesn't have any sound loaded or it doesn't have any configuration at all. Uh, then you in voicing mode, if you are not in voicing mode, of course it will play that. So I'm doing one, load voice file. And now I need to say the name of a voice file. So let's say, EP4, which is somewhere here in the list. Done, it's loaded. Now I can play Synergy. Okay, working. Uh, but not just that, of course you can control and also communication between these two is working too. So if you, for instance, uh, turn on and move the timer uh, pod, you'll see how that updates. I can do the same with amplitude. So and it's updating the screen. So that's amazing. That's how they did it in '85. And of course, that's changing the sound, not in the real time. So if, for instance, I I press a chord and m move move that pod, nothing is happening. So to do that, so basically, you have to press it again. Only then it's changing the sound. I think that's it. Uh, that's what I want to show you for this communication of these two. So probably I'll create some more videos explaining how you can make the sounds in it, but at that point, thank you very much.